It's the three-week-long water crisis has shined a light on Jackson's long, troubled water system. Over the years, there have been efforts to upgrade Jackson's water system, including millions of dollars on a booster system in South Jackson. But one facility just down from our station that hasn't operated in years. And this week's 12 News Investigates, Jade Belexa wanted to find out why. Let's get a look at the 5 million gallon tank put online in 2014 equipped with two pumps, but then taken offline the next year because it doesn't comply with the state health regulations. We asked the Public Works Director, Dr. Charles Williams, about why it's still out of service six years later. Uh, that's an issue between us and the health department, and I don't want any information to get misconstrued about that. Dr. Williams said something happened in 2015 that was brought to the council, and as a result, the Maddox Road booster station cannot be used. So we is not the, um, the TV road situation. Uh, now that would, the original plan would have eliminated the wells. Is that correct? That was the objective. We reached out to the health department about why the booster station hasn't been cleared to get back online. William F. Moody, the director of the Bureau of Public Water Supply at the health department, says, quote, they have not yet come into full compliance with the lead and copper rule. The health department also added it is in the process of finishing an amended corrosion control study for the JH Fuel Water Treatment Facility, which is the older of the city's two water treatment plants. It says only the newer OB Curtis Water Facility meets the terms of corrosion control. Council President Aaron Banks demanded answers. I don't understand why it sat there for so long. My understanding was built in 2012. This is 2021. And I know the city had a major investment in getting that built. And that's unacceptable to me. And so uh, we need to get that back online because, as you see, you know, at the end of the day, the citizens of South Jackson suffer the most. We asked Dr. Williams if the Maddox Road booster station would have made a difference in this water crisis. He said no, because pressure still would have been lost. Dr. Williams says they have submitted a report to the EPA Health Department for review so they can get approval to put the booster station back in compliance. You can also read the full statement from the Health Department on our website, WJTV.com. For 12 News, I'm Jade Belexa.